that brings me to a nice, nice example um, from an application point of view or customer demand, customer demand is uh, high speed imaging. So uh, super slow motion where uh, the entire image chain uh, needs to be um, set up very, very sensitive uh, in regards of communication interfaces and so on. Um, where they see can provide a high frame rate, 5,000 uh, frames per second and more to come in the, in the next quarters. Um, plus the, uh, a, a very powerful uh, source from Brarix and the triggering interface in between that makes this a uh, very nice um, image chain or black box for those applications where you would, I don't know, drop, drop any device and, and, um, and investigate the movement of, of, of parts within that device um, during this drop, for example, but uh, many other applications, of course. Really so are you, are, you, are you talking about things like, I don't know if we can reference this, but for example, there's a YouTube channel called the Slow Mo Guys, and they all they do is, is uh, video stuff at 5,000 frames, 10,000 frames per second. You really see what happens it's it's kind of amazing in, in super slow motion as as an object shatters or uh, explodes or, or mm. uh, so liquid moves things like this because we have an imaging chain now with a, i think it's a rotating anode tube correct oh correct yes yeah so extremely high flux <clears throat> and and you use all that you can actually put all that flux on the detector and it, it'll capture it and and that way you can freeze motion just to make it incredibly slow. Is that what we're talking about? That's that's exactly what we're talking about. And this is um, available for the uh, normal optical world, video and so on, um, for sports and uh, nature, science, and uh, wherever it's used. Um, but it's very tricky uh, in the in the expert world. And then now we really have a have a fantastic setup uh, to to achieve that. Very interesting. So we, we have, for example, locally here, there is a company um, in, a, in a neighboring town and they build testing systems for destructive testing. They test concrete and, and steel and whatnot, put a lot of pressure on it and, and basically observe what happens as it breaks. So in, in theory, what you're saying is we that, that could, in this concrete application, you could have a, an X-ray system like you're talking about, the black box, you add it to that system you can actually see what happens in the sample in that right. precise moment where it where it disintegrates. Not right. just not just what happens on the enclosure level, but really inside of it. Yeah, I mean, very very uh, down the line uh, or the path. Um, you could imagine if you have a very large of, uh, detector, uh, which is fast uh, crash tests for automotive purposes. This is the uh, the dream. What frame rate can we support here? What are we talking about? Yeah, we're, we're, we're talking, we're talking uh, around 5,000 frames per second. And um, this is, th these are a lot of, lot of images and um, you, you need power. That's why we need an anode, uh, a rotating anode source. Same as in photography. If you want to have very, very short exposure times, you need a lot of light or flashlights or whatever in addition. Um, the flashlight is the X-ray source in our case. And is it similar to uh, high-speed uh, video or photography where you can, for example, do a, a one or two second sequence where you have an extreme brightness and during that time everything happens? Uh, so you don't have the light on the whole time, for example. No, no, no. And, and, and this, this will lead to overheating in the video world as well as in the uh, uh, X-ray world. So we we're talking about uh, one or two seconds, but that's all we are interested in. And um, in two seconds, then you basically you already have ten thousand images plus to um, to investigate. This comes this is like a cup more than ten seconds or twenty seconds of slow mo. Yeah. So you the detector runs continuously, and then at the right time you trigger the X ray source. Then you trigger the action. Uh, you make sure you capture all the frames and then you find what you're interested in after. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's all about the timing in, in respect of triggering. Yeah. Understood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exciting. That's definitely not something uh, I would say we're used to from the traditional X-ray world. So No, yeah, definitely interesting. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So, so basically, this is, basically you'll see that in the next couple of years, more and more of those applications. Yeah. So we are we are with this technology potentially opening new markets for our customers that simply didn't exist before, right? You're right. Yeah. Right. 